<clears throat> All right, uh, peace, Facebook. Uh, I wanted to do a video on magic. Why did I want to do a vis video on magic? Because um, people be bitching about how I cuss so much or curse so much. They be like, you need to stop cursing so much. And I be like, do you know what you're even talking about? No, I seriously doubt that you do. So let, let me tell you about magic and curse words. What is a curse? Um, also, if you could, all the people that rock with me, if you really rock with me, invite people to watch this. Please invite people. Um, so yeah, okay, here we go. Um, magic. So, uh, you know, I got my little notes here. Cause I be going hard. Um, magic. What is magic? Magic is spelling. So, uh, all right. So when you go to school, when you go to school, you go to grammar school, right? And all the kids who are good in grammar, who are very good with grammar, you call those kids a whiz. Oh, wow. So a uh, crumb snatcher, he's a whiz. Well, what do you mean a whiz? I mean a wizard, a wizard. So now, um, grammar, if you look up the, the, the root word of grammar or, uh, the etymology of grammar, it is glamour. So what does glamour mean? Glamour means to charm, uh, or hex. Uh, and you would use this via uh, using your charm or sex. So now you have, um, oh, it says I can invite people. Oh, no, that's too much. I'm not doing all that. Can somebody else invite people? You and, and I will uh, keep doing my stuff. All right, so, so here we go. Magic. What is magic? Magic is spells. When you go to grammar school, you learn how to spell. Why is this important? Because, uh, hold on, I, I, I need to uh, stay watching, uh, uh, using my notes. So grammar, grammar means glamour. What is glamour? Glamour means to charm or hex with your charm or sex. Now, if you look at, um, if you go back even further than glamour, you're going to see, hold on, what are you going to see? You're going to see grimoire. Grammar comes from the word grimoire. What is grimoire? Grimoire is a book of magic, a book of magic. So now, um, uh, so grammar is grimoire. Spelling is to spell. You go to grammar school, and if you're good at grammar school, you're a whiz a wizard, and um, uh, you can learn in school how to cast a spell. So now um, you, uh, you, uh, you like to watch movies, and movies come out of Hollywood. So if you take out, let's spell Hollywood, H-O-L-L-Y-W-O-O-D. Take out one of those L's, let's break up the words. Instead of Hollywood, let's just say Holly then wood. Take out one L, you have holy wood. What's holy wood? So a, the, the holy wood is a holy stick. What is a holy stick? I'm looking for my, uh, I'm looking for my holy stick. I have a holy stick. And guess what? You have a holy stick too. What is a holy stick called? A holy stick is a wand, a wand. This is magic. This is magic. So now you have um, uh, grammar, which is grimoire, which is glamour, which is charm or hex. So now um, you, uh, you have gr grammar school. And in grammar school, they teach you how to spell. And if, if, if you're good at this, then you're good at casting a spell. In Hollywood, you write a script and you cast the actors. So now if you look at um, writing, how do you spell writing? W-R-I-T-E. So now um, if you take that W-R, you have R-I-T-E, write, a write, just like a Masonic write. All my Masons out there, 
or are people who know about Masons or Eastern stars, these are rites. What is rite short for? Rite is short for ritual, a ritual. So now you have your spell, spelling. Your child went to grammar school, grimoire, and they learned how to spell, and they learned, um, uh, they learned how to write. Writing is rituals. They learned these rituals on how to cast spells. Um, so why do when people be like, oh, Crumb, you cuss too much. Fuck you. Fuck you. So why is this important? Because you don't know what a, 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 a curse is. So now let's talk about your last name. Um, T.J. Godson. I rock with T.J. Godson. So this ain't even hating on my brother. This is just because I see his name right here. He said, spells equal lips. The second is the L-I-S-T something light sent to her message from him. I'm not really 100% sure about that, but I'm just going to use T.J. Godson. Godson. His last name is Godson. His last name ain't Godson. That's the slave master last name. Why is this important? Because um, your last name is a curse. Fuck is not a curse. Bitch is not a curse. Dick is not a curse. Godson is a curse. Who else we got? Letitia Todd. Todd is a court curse. Who else we got? Keith Horton. Horton is a curse. Let me, let me break that down. Let me break it down. So now you have um, a spell. There's a spell on your name. And now what type of curse do you have? You have a life sentence. Follow me. Language, a life sentence sentence. You've been cursed for life. You're going to carry Richard Hunt. You're going to carry the last name Hunt for the rest of your life. You're going to carry that slave curse for the rest of your life. So um, why, why am I picking on people with these names? Y'all be like, oh, don't call me nigger. Nigger's a bad name. Oh, but you can call me Richard Hunt. Hunt. Hunt is a bad name. That's a slave name. Why is this important? Because um, uh, because we're talking about magic. We're talking about magic. If you'd be like, oh, my name is Richard Hunt. Do you know by saying the name Hunt, you are evoking a spirit? Magic, magic, you're evoking a spirit or provoking a spirit. You're provoking a spirit. Crom, what you talking about? I'm provoking a spirit. So now, uh, we all know um, back in the day, they was like, don't go in the bathroom, turn the lights off, and say, Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. Because if you say his name, he will come. Uh, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. How do you evoke a spirit? You call out the spirit. So now you have um, Shaq Gomes. You keep saying, my name is Gomes, Gomes. Gomes, you evoking a spirit. This is incarnation. You're evoking a spirit. You're provoking a spirit. That's a curse. Don't call me nigger. Call me um, uh, Patrick Salone. So, oh, you'd rather be called Salone than nigger? No, Salone is a curse on you, and that's a life sentence. Don't get mad when somebody call you nigga, but be pr proud. Oh, I'm proud of my last name. Nigga, you, you don't even know that you've been cursed. So now you have um, voc, evoking a spirit. Voc means vocal, vocalize. You vocalize the curse. My name is uh, Vicky Brown Boone. Uh, I'm sorry, Boone Wilson. You're evoking, you're vocalizing the curse. What is the strongest spell out there? The strongest two words is I am. In the Bible, in the Old Testament, they said, who is God? God said, I am that I am. I am, uh, 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 um, I'm trying to look for somebody's name, Aziza Eel. I am. Now, if you ask me, I say, I am L. L is Hebrew for God. I am uh, sympathetic. I am compassionate. I am a God. But if you say, I am uh, Tierra Barry Saunders, Saunders, no, that's your slave curse. That's who you are. You've been cursed and you're carrying a life sentence. These curses are in the language. Oh, bitch is a curse word. Dick is a curse word. No, Saunders, Tierra Saunders is a curse. So now you have um, 
if you uh, uh, evoke or vocalize a spirit three times, if you say, what's the strongest spell in the world? I am. That's the strongest spell in the world. If you say I am, then that is a spell. This is magic, people. So now um, you say Candyman three times, the spirit will come. You say Bloody Mary three times, the spirit will come. This is magic. Uh, so now you have uh, religion. Let's get into religion. Uh, the Bible. The Bible was translated by a guy named St. Jerome. St. Jerome uh, translated the Bible, and this was called the Latin Vulgate. Why is this important? Because Vulgate stands for vulgar, vulgar language. Oh, crumb, I can't watch your videos because your language is just out of hand. You be talking about bitches, shit, dickhead, assholes. Your language is just so No, my language is not vulgar. The Bible is vulgar. The Bible, oh, I went to church and the, and, and the preacher, he just touched my spirit. Oh, really? Crumb snatcher don't touch your spirit, but, um, but uh, the preacher touched your spirit, don't he? Well, guess what the preacher's speaking? He's speaking vulgar language. He's speaking a curse. Right, right. The Latin Vulgate, that's vulgar. You reading the Bible? That's vulgar language. That's vulgar. So, um... Uh, it's profane language. Uh, what is profane language? Language outside of the temple. Who created profanity? The, the, uh, the church created, before the church, dickhead was not a cuss word. Kiss my ass was not a cuss word. The, 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 the church created profanity. Profanity was any profane language outside the temple. Um, uh, the first profane language was blasphemy. Blasphemy was the first profane language. Um, this was magic, uh, uh, exactly, how to reverse a spell. This was trying to reverse the spell, blasphemy. I am. What is the strongest spell? What is the strongest magic? Saying I am God. Oh, well, that's blasphemy. That's profane language. All right, so now we have um, what is a curse? What is a curse? Oh, Crumb Snatch would be cursing in his videos. He... He be cursing. He be saying shit like, uh, 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 fuck you and, 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 and motherfucker. What is a curse? A curse is when you practice magic. So now, uh, we got the mama and the mama, uh, was out fucking all night, got pregnant by some no good ass nigga. And the baby came out looking just like the daddy, just like the daddy. So now she mad at him because he won't take care of the baby. So now that the baby look just like him and she can't take her anger out on him, she going to attack the baby. What is she going to say? She going to say, you just like your daddy and your daddy won't. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 your daddy didn't amount to nothing and you just like your daddy and you not going to amount to nothing. That's a curse. Bitch is not a curse. That is a curse. Fuck is not a curse. That's a curse. You ain't going to be nothing when you grow up. That's a curse. That's a curse. You, you won't say fuck around your child. You won't say pussy around your child. But you'll say, oh, uh, uh, um, um, you so dumb. You so, you, you so silly. You so stupid. That's a curse. You cursing your child. Well, Crumb, I didn't call my child a bitch. Yes, you did, because you thinking bitch is a curse. What a curse is when you prophesy on something negatively. All right, so here we go. Keep it moving. Um, uh, a curse is the opposite of a blessing. Now we're getting back into religion. A curse is the opposite of a blessing. So now you tell your child, you say to your child, you be like, uh, baby, you can do no wrong because your mother has favor with you. A blessing to be blessed is to have favor. You tell your daughter, you can do no wrong, baby. That means you blessed your child. To curse your child is to be like, you can't do nothing right. Now you cursed your child. You be like, oh, crumb, I don't cuss at my children. Uh, how to reverse spells and curses. I'll get to that another day, Vicky. But right now we're going to talk about the magic and how the magic is applied every single day. Uh, but yeah, um, when actually not another day, a little bit later. I, 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 um, 
I'm not going to be up here no uh, hour. It's going to be really quick. So here we go. Uh, a curse is the same thing as a hex. So now you have um, uh, words like fuck, F-U-C-K. What you don't know is fuck. Oh, Robert Boyd, thank you so much for tuning in. I told you, Robert, this video is going to be about you. Go follow Robert Boyd the third. Why? Because Robert breaks down the words. Robert breaks. If you go on Robert Boyd's page, he's breaking down the words. He's breaking down the words. I went on Robert's page and Robert had the word Christian up there. Robert Boyd the third, not the not T H E T H I R D, just the uh, uh, one, two, three, three letters. Robert Boyd the third. He had the word Christian on his page. He said Christian has the word Antichrist in it. Antichrist. So now he's breaking down the words. You, oh, okay, now uh, um, I'm going to get back to fucking two seconds. Let's talk about Robert Boyd real quick. So now um, if you look all on Facebook, all these conscious people, they don't say good morning. Good morning. Why do you need to follow Robert uh, uh, Boyd? Because Robert Boyd is going to help you understand why you should not say good morning. Because morning is something you do at a funeral. What does the conscious community say? Grand rising. Grand rising. Because it's magic. It's magic. And you speak in death. Good morning? You mourn at a wake. A wake? A wake? So now, they, uh, uh, um, uh, you're, you're using these words and you think it's obvious, but you are oblivious. You don't understand the words. Right. Great rising or grand rising. Salute, TJ. Because you don't understand the words. Go follow Robert Boyd on his page. All he do is break down words. In addition to that, Robert will explain that you are not the body. You are are the spirit. You're the soul controlling the body. The body casts spells. So now um, back back to fuck. I bet you didn't know fuck is an acronym. F-U-C-K, fornication under consent of the king. Fornication under consent of the king. So um, uh, of course, of course, Robert don't do nothing but drop knowledge on his page. You go to somebody else's page, they'd be like, oh, crumb, me and you are just the same. I, you know, Your page is just like, no, my page ain't like your page. My page is like Robert Boyd's page because I say what I have to say. I'm not sharing no memes. I'm not sharing no videos. I'm speaking from my own uh, heart, my own soul. If you go to Robert Page, he's speaking from his soul. If you go to Crumb Snatcher Page, he's speaking from his soul. If you go to the next nigga page, he 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 uh he just saying what the next nigga say. The world is flat. Okay, the world is flat. Uh, 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 Jesus is the savior. Okay, Jesus is the savior. Y'all got a bunch of parakeet information. Share your information from your heart. Stop saying what everybody else saying and repeating everybody else. Speak for yourself. So now, um, okay, this sucks. I bet you didn't know 50 years ago, just 50 years ago, this sucks meant this sucks dick. So now your kids walk around, your uh, your uh, seven-year-old, oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. Huh? You know, that's fine. I don't allow my child to cuss, but he can say this sucks. Well, did you know? Well, did you know that sucks means this sucks dick? 50 years ago, this sucks was profanity. It was profane and offensive language. So now um, you be like, oh, crumb, stop cussing. Stop saying bitch. 50 years from now, bitch won't be a cuss word. So now you getting mad over the wrong shit. Over the crumb, I can't watch your videos because you're just so vulgar. No, the Bible is vulgar. The Latin Vulgate, translated by Saint Jerome. Go look it up. So now, um, here we go. Y'all be like, oh, um, uh, he be cussing. He be cussing so much. Well, you know what? This is me, crumb. Well, you know what? Excuse my French. Excuse my French, because this is all magic. This is all magic. I'm gonna get to the magic. 
Because y'all don't y'all don't understand that this is magic. Peace, Brandon. But I'm a, 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 a peace, Frederick. Frederick is my man, hundred grand. Let me let me let me take a pause out real quick. Frederick is my man, a hundred grand. I rock with him hard. Um, so now, um, uh, y'all be like, oh, excuse my French. Well, majority of these curse words, these this magic, this black magic, these curse words. Oh, that's black magic. No, that's white magic. Why, why do you call it white magic? Because the European made that bullshit up. So now, uh, excuse my French? No, excuse your German. Because words like bitch, damn, fuck, shit, hell. Yeah, I, 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 I got all my shit written down. That's German. Go look at where bitch comes from. Go look at where shit comes from. You speak in German. Oh, excuse my French. Well, that's a spell. Oh, that's black magic. That's not black magic. That's European magic. The Germans made that up. Yo, Nazi ass. At blackout, spell it out. He's on the thread. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, let me focus. Let me focus. All right, here we go. Um, so now you'd be like, excuse my French. Half of the profanity, the curse words, this black magic, which is really Caucasian magic, Cave beast magic is really French. So why is it French? Because um, uh, the French, uh, half of the vo this vulgar language comes from France. The other half comes from German. So now let's talk about these French real quick. Uh, you'd be like um, French kiss. Well, uh, uh, French kiss is nasty because, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, a French letter. A French letter is a condom. Uh, a French leave, leaving a party without saying goodbye, that's um, uh, well, saying goodbye to the host, that's called a French leave. Um, a uh, uh, Herpes was known as the French disease. Uh, he asked how to get at Robert Boyd III. My bad. Oh, you good. You, you good, family. You good, 100%. Um, all right, so let's get to the magic. Let's get a little bit more to the magic. Okay, so now um, what is magic? Magic is a manipulation of energy. Everything is energy. Everything is energy. So, um, so now, uh, a lot of y'all be like, are you not God? If you God, create something. All right, so this is the thing. What did God do? What, what did your grandma tell you? Your grandma told you speak life. Because if you don't speak life, you speak death. If you don't speak life, you speak death. Oh, well, what does that mean, Crumb? Um, the words are vibrations. The words are vibrations. Um, now, these words that vibrate from your vocal, touch right here and talk. Touch right here and talk, and you're going to feel your own vibrations. Crumb, what do you mean your words are vibrations? Touch right here and talk. And you're going to feel the vibrations. So now, once you feel these vibrations, understand, these vibrations are going to go up into the atmosphere, into the Earth's electromagnetic field. The Earth has an electromagnetic field. Go look it up. The Earth has an electromagnetic field. Go look it up. So now, um, oh, also sidebar, if you rock with me, if you really rock, rock with me, invite somebody to watch this. Keep it moving. Okay, so now, um, uh, uh, the Earth has an electromagnetic field. And you send these vibrations, just type in Robert Boyd III in Facebook search engine, and my profile pic from this live will show all I welcome, all peace. Follow Robert Boyd, because this video is about magic and breaking down the words, and Robert don't do nothing on his page but break down the words. Go to Robert's page, and he's breaking down the words, um, because y'all don't understand the words. That's why you don't understand the magic. That's why your ass... Um, uh, uh, that's why karma is kicking your ass, because you're speaking death on yourself. Uh, uh, crumb snatcher, how am I speaking death on myself? Because you're walking around town saying you're a fucking Christian. Go on Robert Boyd's page. Christian, if you look at the word, it has the word antichrist in it. They're playing these word games with you. So now... Um, uh, uh, these vibrations that you're putting out are going into the Earth's electromagnetic field. And what you, the universe is not acting upon you. The universe is reacting 
to you. So when you put these words out into the electromagnetic field, these words come back to you. That's magic. That's magic. So now, um, if you look at the word, uh, um, so, so now I told you the word, uh, uh, the world has an electromagnetic field. Look at the word magnetic or, um, yeah, magnetic. Now, if you take out the word net, because you cast a net, cast a net. If you take out the word net from magnetic, what do you have? Magic. So now, um, because you think this is, um, uh, oh, that's all by chance. Crumb, you just, you, Crumb, you, you reaching right now. Fuck you. Fuck you. Because your ass sleep. Wake your sleepy ass up. So now you have um, a curse on the language. So now um, um, uh, uh, folks be like, oh, Crumb, I understand. You don't understand me. Under Tyreek, you ahead of me. Follow me. I'm I'm about to get to it. Tyreek Bo Bo uh, uh, Bolton, shout Ty hey, Tyreek, because I, I know you rock with me. Invite some people, please. Uh, words do cut deep to the soul. As sw Robert, you, you ahead of me, baby. You ahead of me. All right. So so here we go. Um, they be like, oh yeah, I understand Crumb Snatcher. I under you don't understand me. You understand me. Understand. Just like Robert Boyd just said, the words touch your soul. If you, if what I say resonates with you, then I touch your soul. You don't understand me. You understand me. Or because your soul is above you, you overstand me. Uh, what's another one? Uh, abracadabra. Abracadabra. Because um, somebody asked me, they said, um, uh, what, what, what did they ask me? They said, oh, are you Hebrew? No, no, Max, it was my cousin, my cousin, my long lost cousin from Florida. She said, oh, cuz, you know, you Hebrew? Yes, I'm Hebrew. So now let's talk about some Hebrew words, abracadabra. Abracadabra is a Hebrew word. Keep, keep drop, shout out to Aaron uh, Harris, new friend of mine, just, you know, really good dude. Abracadabra is a Hebrew word. What does abracadabra mean in Hebrew? It means I create as I speak. Now, that means speak life. Speak life. So now, how do you speak death? Speaking death is uh, Avada Kid Kedavra. You know what? Forgive me. My Hebrew is rusty. It means I destroy as I speak. What'd your grandma say? Speak life. Don't speak death. So, uh, like, oh, oh, um, I love my mama to death. Oh, you love your mama to death? Be careful. Be careful. I love my mama to life because the magic is in the words. So now, uh, oh, absolutely, Aaron. I rock with you 100 grand. Um, uh, we talked about school. School is grammar school. And a smart kid is called a whiz. If you go to grammar school and you learn how to spell and you learn how to write or ritual, then you learn, um, uh, then you're a wizard. Um, now, when you go to school, what do you need? You need a pen or a pencil. When you cast a spell, what do you need? You need a pentagram. Pentagram. Spell it out. P-E-N. Oh, crumb, you reaching. You reaching right now. Okay, let me break it down for your silly ass. Um, P-E-N-T-A-G-R-A-M. Gram. Go look up the word gram, G-R-A-M. I already looked it up. I already look, got my notes. Got my notes. Go get your notes. Oh, Crumb, I feel, I think, shut your silly ass up and do some fucking research. I don't care how you feel. I don't care what your fucking silly ass, dumb ass, stupid ass opinion is. Do some research. Look up the word gram. Here we go. Uh, uh, a pentagram is a magic tool. A gram is a... a, a, a Something that is written, something that is written, a cryptogram, cryptogram. So now, what is a cryptogram? A cryptogram is a secret symbol. All you um, uh, um, people who be doing that um, emoticon stuff, these, uh, 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 
Anton Forbes just said Power King and put up a fist like this. That's a cryptogram. The brother is speaking using cryptid language. That's a spell. That's a spell. That's not a bad spell. That's a good spell. So now, um, so now everybody got their pentagrams. Go to school and bring your pentagram, bring your pen and your pencils so you can learn how to spell and cast a spell because grammar is grimoire. What is grimoire? Grimoire is a Instagram. Instagram. Thank you. Thank you. Emojis. Cryptograms. Thank you. Thank you. So now you have um, uh, your pen and your pencil when you went to grammar school to learn black magic. Spelling. Exactly. So now, um, uh, because speaking through symbols, hidden language. Absolutely. Robert Boyd III. Again, go follow Robert Boyd III. He's breaking down a language and he's revealing the hidden spells on his page. So now you have, um, uh, because me, I'm a Moor. So when I first became a Moor, they broke down, um, they broke all the science down to me. They broke it all down to me. What, what did they say? They said, crumb snatcher, the pen is mightier than the sword. Well, if you spell out the word sword, S-W-O-R-D, move the S from the front to the back. What does that mean? Words. The words are mightier than the sword. So now, um, here we go. John 1 and 1. Go into the Bible. Go into the Bible. John 1 and 1. I don't even got my glasses on. Bear with me. John 1 and 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and, and the... What? I'm sorry. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Go look up, because the Old Testament is, is Hebrew. The New Testament is Greek. So all you Christians, all you Antichrist, y'all reading the Greek Bible. Every time I tell y'all in the Greek Bible, that's not Jesus, you silly fucker. That's Zeus. The New Testament is the Greek Bible. Surprise! Surprise! The New Testament is the Greek Bible. So now if you look in your Greek Bible, you fucking Greeks, I'm a Christian. No, you're a Greek who worships Zeus. So if you look up the etymology of what these words mean in John 1 and 1, what does the word uh, uh, um, word mean in John 1 and 1? Logos, logos. That's a Latin word, a Greek word. What does logos mean? Logos is a, um, a, a word in picture form, cryptogram. So um, what was the other one I had? So now cursing. So now, yeah, when I'm up here and I'm cursing, oh, I can't rock with Crumb because Crumb, his language is so foul. Crumb be saying, nigga. Hold on, my battery trying to. Fuck it, my battery about to die. I'm about, I'm about to be done with this video anyway. So anyway, so when I be up on my videos, dropping knowledge, trying to wake your silly ass, your sleeping ass um, up, don't don't come on my page criticizing me. Crumb, you, you, you just, you, you, your profanity, you be cursing. I don't curse. I'm blessing you. What's the opposite of a curse? What's the opposite of a hex? A blessing. I'm blessing you. But because your ass. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. So don't come on my page talking about crumb. You are, you are, you cussing too much. I'm not cussing too much. I'm not cursing. I'm blessing you. I'm using magic to help free you. So now um, that's basically the end of the video. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, now I want to uh, shout out a black business. Um, I want to shout out Chef Jacoby Ponder. Uh, Chef Jacoby Ponder. Go to his Facebook page. 
go, uh, 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 look him up on YouTube. He's a, uh, a uh, I'm sorry for saying black, because the reason I, I figured all of this out when I became a Moor, the Moors educated me to the words. I'm not Moor, Crumb, how can you be a Moor? Hold on two seconds. I got my fez somewhere. I'm about to put my fez on to officially demonstrate for y'all. But the the Moors educated me. They said, um, black, look up the word black. Black means death, according to science. According to what science? Political science. So now you're talking about, oh, I'm black and I'm proud. Well, when you go into a political forum and you say you black, you, that means you dead. Black lives matter. Dead lives don't matter because you dead. So um, uh, the Moors really taught me a lot about the language. You know, Moors science, science. So stop saying you black, you melanated, you're melanated. So um, I wanna shout out a melanated business, Chef Jacoby Ponder. Go uh, follow Chef Jacoby Ponder. He's on YouTube, he's on Facebook. Um, uh, like his stuff, support him. If you have a black business, a melanated business, excuse me, um, then uh, let me know who they are and I'm gonna shout them out in my video. Uh, so as far as magic, magic is speaking. Magic is speaking. Now, uh, I'm Hollywood, Hollywood, uh, the wand, the spell, the grammar, the grimoire. Um, that's basically all I got. Share this video, share this video. Go watch my video. Um, oh, uh, follow Robert Boyd, Robert Boyd the Third. I am not egotistical. I, I, I'm not up here promoting Crumb Snatcher. I'm up here promoting you. I don't do this for me. I do this for you because I love you. Tell me who you are. Show me some love. And say, hey, Crumb, shout me out your next video, and I'll shout you out because I love you. Um, with that said, I'm signing off. Understand that your words are magic. Your word, how did, how did God create the world? In the beginning was the word. God said, let there be light. And light was. Speak life. Your words are magic. They have magical powers. They have vibrations. I love y'all, family. I don't know what else to say. I love y'all. Speak life. Uh, tell somebody today that you love them. Tell somebody today that you love them. Um, because I love y'all. Peace.